Winter vacation is here and we are at the mid-year, but what went wrong in our homeschool? What went right in the last couple of months? Let's recap this together. Hello, assalamu alaikum. My name is Takwa. I'm an author, journalist, and homeschool mom of three from Montreal. Today, I wanted to make this video to kind of sit down and recap what went on in our homeschool in the last couple of months. So from September to uh, December. My meeting with the government and my mid-year reports are due soon, so that's a good incentive as well. But really, I wanted to do this for me to kind of, um, you know, take a time to relax and look at what, what we have to focus on for the next half of the year. Because when we're in the thick of it, it's hard, it's hard to really um, take a step back and see the bigger picture. So I'm going to go subject by subject for both my daughters um, because my little one, although I did think I was going to start homeschooling him this year, he is interested, but I'm I'm already overwhelmed with the two that are, you know, officially homeschooling. I'm not going to start with the four year old. He can just play for now. Anyways, that's the best way to learn for a kid. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do the two girls and let's see where we're at. So let's start with math. I'd say that math went pretty good uh, this semester. Um, for my youngest daughter, there was some change of plans. So I had bothered the books that I um, used with her older sister, and we did start them, but then I fell in love with this other curriculum. It's called Défi Math École Maison. It's in French, um, and it's amazing, very hands-on. It's very different. It's not a workbook, so it's a lot of exercises where I have to be there and actually do them with her but I feel like the the comprehension is so much deeper and also I'm enjoying them and it's the first time in my life that I'm actually looking forward to do math like I'm like oh do you want to do math like I'm excited to do it because it's fun and it's quality time and it's games so I really enjoy um Défi Math École Maison I'm gonna put the links um down uh, in the information box but since we're doing that, we're doing less of workbooks, and I do feel like um, if I have to to you know reassess, I'd say like I'm gonna continue with Défi Math École Maison, but I'm also going to um, focus a little bit on some exercises from the workbook. For example, I see that she still has trouble recognizing some numbers for from sixty to one hundred. So that's for example one of the things uh, that we're gonna do inshallah in the upcoming uh, weeks. As for my eldest, I'd say that it's actually going pretty good also for math. I mean, um, there's always the frustrations and, you know, it's not like uh, the easiest, but we've been working a lot. Oh, I forgot to say. So with both my daughters, we've been working a lot on attitude and as seeing things that are hard as just things that are hard. If they're harder now because we haven't practiced them, but everything starts out hard and we can do hard things. So this is one of the things that we've been practicing a lot. Actually, before we even start working, we do this affirmations thing. I'm not really a big affirmations girl, but we do this. We say like, Bismillah, Bismillah, I can do this. I can do hard things with the help of Allah and let's go have fun. So, um, by repeating that, we're actually seeing, you know, that mistakes are okay. Mistakes is how we learn, blah, 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 blah. So uh, that's been better, I feel like, for both my, my daughters. And for math, um, what I've been doing also is I've been printing out extra exercises for my eldest, for the, ex for the um, you know, the notions that I feel like she's still struggling a little bit, even after we've done the workbook, she's still struggling in some things. I'd go and print out extra, um, extra sheets. That, that's really been uh, helpful as well. So I'd say like, if we continue on this path, I think we're pretty good inshallah for math. Now, language art. Language art is a complicated topic in our household just because we are homeschooling technically in French. This is the language that is most speaking, spoken here. It's a language that we speak mostly at home. Um, and it's a language that I officially have to homeschool in. Like if there's ministry exams or reports or anything, it's in French. Although I'm thinking of switching here eventually, Maybe that'll be in a future video, but so since our co-ops are a lot in English and the best curriculums I find are a lot in English, we've been doing a lot of things in English, even like the books we're reading and everything as read alouds. And so I feel like we're lacking French at this point and I should be doing more French with my eldest, uh, more French writing 
because reading she does read a lot of french uh, novels and stuff um she loves reading so that's not an issue but for writing i feel like i do need to practice more writing especially that we do have a ministry exam this year <laughs> um so inshallah i'll be focusing more on french for the second half of the year and um yeah and for my youngest so for her i'm doing more french because she's younger and i want to give her a basis so when we're doing exercise even if my eldest writes in english the youngest does the things in French, even at co-op, even if it's in English. She does. Um, she did start to write in French. Uh, she sounds out the words, so it's no spelling, nothing. That's another topic, uh, what I think about spelling and how I we do spelling here. We don't really do much spelling until later, until much later, I'd say. So Alhamdulillah, uh, my seven-year-old, my focus um, was for her to be comfortable with reading. French and starting to read English and that alhamdulillah I have to say it's been it's good we're good now inshallah she's she's been reading for fun she's more confident she can read out loud to other people so for me reading is like wow once you have that you have everything now we can we can start having fun now <laughs> but there's still the writing part and she hates writing I feel like a lot of the kids who start writing hate writing uh, she likes writing like stories or if we do i call them atelier d'écriture it's like little um writing prompts and stuff she'll do that but um to actually write nicely and neatly and practice because i'm making them write in cursive so that's not so much um so inshallah we've been working on, on attitude as well when it comes to uh writing so that's gonna be a focus as well for my youngest daughter for history uh, social studies, history. I've been wanting to continue Story of the World. We love that program and we started it last year and I thought that I would continue this year, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So I guess it won't be for, and, and to be honest, I don't even think it's going to be next semester. So I guess it won't be until the summer. Um, and we haven't really done much, uh, formal history in the fall. Uh, but I'm not worried because at co-op in the winter, we have this whole project planned for social studies and for history. So that's covered. Inshallah, that's going to be in the in the winter. I'm just disappointed for Story of the World. I love doing it, but not enough time for everything we want to do. And speaking of time, science. So science, we've been doing that at co-op as well with uh, STEM challenges. And they do get by mail uh, the magazine sub subscriptions for Les Explorateurs, Les Débrouillards. It's like scientific magazine for kids. And we do watch documentaries. I'm not too worried about science, but we had subscribed to Mark Roberts, Mark Roberts, um, STEM boxes and they look amazing. But can you imagine we have five boxes piled up and we still haven't done any? We just haven't gotten around to it either. So sometimes our ambitions are bigger than our capabilities capacities by the way for those who don't know uh, me in this channel my first language is french and i think in french and so i might struggle sometimes with my words but alhamdulillah so we've done uh, math language arts science history oh quran and arabic and religion so um i have another video on my channel in french that explains that we do uh, every day 15 minutes of quran for each child so 45 minutes in all it's we do it one-on-one -on -one. now my eldest daughter she actually has a teacher now that, she, that um, she meets with uh, online every Friday. And so she practices more independently now, which I kind of, I can't believe we're there. Like I miss that time when I'm one of them. I, I, she's, I'm not, like she doesn't need me anymore. She just listens to, she listens, listens, listens to the ayat and she reads at the same time. And then she recites to her teacher. So right now I'm focusing more with the little two, the two youngest. Um, my son, like I said, I'm not really homeschooling him, but for Arabic, I am just because I have that one-on-one -on -one time with him in the morning. Like I'm giving his sister anyway, we, we have this 15 minute thing. It's been set up for, it's been years now. Uh, so yeah, so he, he, alhamdulillah now knows all his Arabic letters. Uh, and he's very excited about it. We might do a little party for that. Um, that, that took us the whole fall, uh, the whole, whole like half of the year. And my other daughter, she, uh, she's, you know, still practices her surah. We do 15 minutes every day 
uh, she she did her qaida and now she's reading slowly, slowly. So we're practicing reading every day and we're practicing hifz every day as well, but just for 15 minutes. For me, it's the consistency and the um, and the good spirit. So I want this to be a, a moment that is enjoyable, that is a connection time, and that's more important to me that act than actually you know finishing. Uh, so that's for oh and for religion I'm so happy so you know I told you about how we didn't get around to story of the world and we didn't do the the stem boxes but there was this other thing that I wanted to do for years but I was waiting for my younger daughter to be a bit older I wonder I wanted her to start uh, to turn seven before we started this curriculum and it's the Al Ghazali curriculum Al Ghazali for kids I'm gonna do a whole video on it it's just so amazing mashallah it's mind-blowingly amazing i have to do a whole video on it but yes we've been doing that um it's been seven weeks straight now so i'm very happy <laughs> that we've been consistent and that we do actually on the weekends because my husband wants to join a lot of the times and also because we don't have time to do everything during the week so we do that in the morning of saturday or sunday um takes us you know in the morning, I don't know, maybe an hour if I do like extra activity or game or something. But it's an amazing um, religion program. Uh, love it so much. I can't wait to film the video on, on it. But I'm going to wait a little bit more to have more content to share with you on it. And finally, um, I have the thought about sports. I feel like we don't do enough sports. I've been thinking um, only one of my kids is doing sports right now on a, on a weekly basis. The other two don't have any organized sports. They're not into any sports. Uh, and I feel guilty about that too because I'm not the more sporty person. Um, and here with the winter and the cold, I know, I mean, we're going to go sledding and stuff, but I think, I think I have to at least do like yoga at home, you know, those videos or something. I don't know. I'm thinking of how to be more active um, because kids have to be active every day, like really active, not just moving around the house but like having your heart pump <laughs> so that's something that i've been um i've been thinking about a little bit it's been bugging me a little bit um when i was to reassess and it's not the first year it's something that's reoccurring so i have to find uh, a lasting solution for this dilemma inshallah so in other matters we've started this semester a new co-op going to a new co-op it's a secular co-op uh, because i already go to a co-op every week that's a muslim co-op so it's a faith-based one the new one is secular and uh, i wish i didn't like it i wish i could let go but i can't i really really enjoy it the activities are different the vibe is different i just really like it and so we're gonna continue with that that means that we're two days a week out of the house um and i wish it was only one i, I wish i could focus on one co-op and you know have all my needs and all my you know everything at one place because now my head is in two co-ops but i really love both and they they they're different they're so different and yeah we're gonna continue with that as well inshallah for the for the semester in the winter but i told myself that i'd be more flexible in missing missing days so for the muslim co-op i can't really miss any days because i'm actually teaching a lot of things like either with the preschoolers or with the older kids but with the other one i'm more passive and so if you know there's a snowstorm or something i just have to mind that myself that it's okay you can miss a day that's why we're homeschooled right it's to be flexible it's to listen to ourselves and and um yeah i've been just trying to convince myself <laughs> But it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. We love it. The kids love it. Inshallah. It's been a good addition as well when it comes to like school stuff um, and socialization stuff. And yeah, it's just a different vibe and it's, uh, it's good. I'll put the information down below as well for this co-op. And last but not least, time for myself, time for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that's at the bottom of this video and of, on the bottom of my pr priority list unfortunately um although we do i do take time to go out, go out with my friends or on a regular basis um and that's that's uh that's a life changer like i couldn't i couldn't go weeks without going out at night like on a weeknight just for coffee with a friend um so that's uh that's a staple for my mental health but i mean more and now i started um once a week also going out by myself just to work advance on my projects personal things because at home i just get tired and lazy at night and um not lazy because i deserve to rest but i mean i get 
not more motivated you know it's hard it's hard when you're at home and you have this bed waiting for you and netflix and stuff so once a week now on mondays i start the week by going out at night after supper i just head to um the library or a coffee shop or somewhere to work on my things so that's that's new though it's, i've only been doing that for um, for three weeks inshallah i will continue but honestly i'm lacking self-care um and i think that's the hardest part with homeschooling like people talk about socialization and this and that it's the me time it's the me time and i'm an introvert i discovered this as well with homeschooling i'm more of an introvert and so i need that time i crave that time like i'm i dream of that time and um yeah so inshallah we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see that's like something ongoing topic you know uh but i think the thing where i'm going out now every monday is gonna help and the the date nights um we try to do them as well we've been more consistent before and now we're we've it's been it's been a couple of months uh so inshallah trying to be more consistent with that as well maybe plan them better in advance you know really prioritize our time like adult time for me and as a couple as well so inshallah that's been my mid-year recap i love these videos i love watching these videos uh on youtube just because it gives me an idea of how other how it's been in other households and i hope it's been useful to you uh so don't hesitate to comment if you have any question i'll answer you here but i'm also active on instagram uh under my name takwa suisi t suisi um and yeah comment like subscribe to this channel and i'll see you soon inshallah bismillah on homeschool assalamu alaikum